All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just going to cover Crow really quick here. Uh, you can see that we are on the four hour chart, and once it fell below the 1618 here at 132, it acted as resistance. And you're now holding support at the 2618 at 116. So if you lose 116, you're going to fall down here to the 3618 at 10 cents. So let's see how much of a percent that is. So you're looking at about a 14, almost 14 and a half percent loss uh, down here to 10 cents if you lose the 2618 at 116. And for a move to the upside, you can see you need to get back up here to the 236 at 126. For any kind of momentum uh, upward on crow here so you're looking at about a almost a seven and a half percent move up here to 12.6 and then your next stop is going to be the 382 up here at 13.2 for a total of about a 12 and a half percent move you can see you got stuck at it back here it's also the 1618 turn resistance at 13.2 so just watch those couple of prices we are on the four hour chart like I said uh, other than that you know, really not much else to say with Crow here. Um, let me see, what does the MACD look like? Uh, the MACD just started printing bearish on the four hour chart here. What does it look like on the daily? Let's make you see this really quick. Yeah, so really not much going on. It's in a massive downtrend as you can see here. It's really not doing anything. It's just kind of copying the rest of the market. Um, everything besides uh, Luna Classic is just in a downtrend doing nothing really they'll have little pumps but they're really just down sideways down consolidate sideways down you know you know how it goes but yeah uh, just watch those couple of prices on crow here without saying too much on it not financial advice thanks for watching and peace out